Hi, in this short video I'm going to show you how to monetize a small info site uh, like a NicheJet site and what you're looking at here is BackyardGardening.org. This is a NicheJet website that we created long ago uh, when we first launched NicheJet and it's ranking number one in Google for backyard gardening so it's getting some traffic and now we need to monetize it. So what, I'm, what I've done here is I have a pop-up showing up and this pop-up shows up a few seconds after the website is loaded. We're giving away something of value that is highly targeted to the search term that the site ranks for or just to the traffic in general, whether you have rankings or not. If you have traffic, this, this can be profitable, very profitable and maintenance free once you have it set up. So this is a very uh, profitable and easy funnel to set up once you have it set up correctly. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But it's important that this, whatever you're giving away with this opt-in, is highly relevant to the traffic that's coming in so however the people are coming to your website you know whether it's via Google uh, you know you're ranking for a certain phrase uh, then you know exactly what those people are looking for or maybe it's social media or some other way uh, you need to know who your visitors are where they're coming from and what they're looking for most likely they'll be looking for whatever the topic of your website is so you want to make sure whatever you're giving away is highly targeted to them that's something I see many people do wrong. They'll be giving away, giving away a report or, or something to try to build their list, but the whatever the offer is is not highly relevant. It's extremely important that it's highly, highly relevant to the topic of the site. If it's not, you're not going to get anyone to opt in. So in this case, people will be looking for backyard gardening ideas, ideas and tips for backyard gardening. So what we give them, top 10 backyard gardening ideas. And I think that's highly relevant to the topic. That's exactly what people are looking for when they come to this website. So they're going to get a, a small PDF that has 10 backyard gardening ideas, the top 10. Uh, so it's pretty clear what it is. And they sh people should not have to guess what they're going to be getting. It's very clear what they're getting couple bullet points about what they're getting and then a clear call to action just enter your name and email below to download so they enter the name and email click the button and they'll get that in their email address now this is the website and on the website I recommend you have banners affiliate banners uh, within the content above it below it uh, maybe even one in the middle or AdSense depending on what your site is about what what you think will convert better and you can just test on that uh, but this is kind of the second monetization so the first thing and the primary thing is you want to get them to opt in to that pop in rather that pop-up uh, whether they do or not then you have another opportunity to monetize with that same visitor uh, within the content here so then you want to have a banner or a AdSense ad in here um, spread out you know along the site don't overdo it obviously but have a few banners or uh, and or AdSense ads and just test to see which one is more profitable okay so that's it from the front end the very initial visit from the visitor the next thing you want to do is get into your autoresponder whether it's get response or AWeb or whatever it is you use and set up an autoresponder sequence of emails so once they opt in to that pop-up uh, they will receive immediately they'll see a re receive a message I'm not going to get into each one of the messages it's going to depend on the niche etc but you just want to send them uh, immediately you want to send them an email saying hey you know thanks for subscribing this is what you'll be receiving whatever make it short and sweet and just let them know we won't bombard you with emails but you will be hearing from us and then about three days later you want to send another email two or three days later send another email with just pure content no promotions no trying to sell anything just pure content so the next email might be uh, you know the best fertilizer for your garden you know what's what's the best what are the pros and cons whatever you know for example uh, and then you want to send another a few two or three days later another pure content email alright so on another topic closely related to the overall niche and then on the third email which will be two to three days after the second so that's about six to nine days after the initial opt-in then you want to promote something and Clickbank is a great place to find products to promote it really all depends on your niche you know what's your niche what products are available in your niche 
that's what's going to determine what you're going to be promoting but in a lot of niches there are good products in Clickbank and you get a high commission for these since they're digital products you can get 50 to 75 percent commission on these and there's a lot of different products in here so I don't focus on any one product we're going to be promoting more than one product over time so just find a highly relevant product and promote it just look at the sales page make sure the sales page is good I don't get too involved in these numbers because the gravity etc really all depend on who it is that's promoting it they might be promoting it to a very uh, specific email list or a very specific website or a very non-specific website or a very non-specific list uh, and and that can determine change the numbers so just because the gravity is high or low or this is high or low doesn't necessarily mean the product is awesome or poor a, a very good product can have low numbers a very bad product can have very high numbers depending on who's promoting it where they're promoting it to etc so I don't look too much into these numbers what I look at is the sales page typically a, a decent product at least if not good is going to have a nice sales page usually they're going to put the time into it because they put it the time into the product you put time into your product you will tend to put time into your sales page and everything else um, and vice versa that's not always the case I've seen some great products with sales pages that weren't so great but for the most part uh, that is the case so I just look at the sales page make sure it looks good make sure it has a good call to action a good headline there I'm seeing this one looks pretty good get instant access to over five gigabits of professional garden design so this is pretty clear what you're getting you're getting a whole bunch of garden designs so that might be a good one and just go through make sure like this this is broken here this image so uh, some products in Clickbank the the users will kind of just leave them if they don't make sales uh, so just kind of make sure you go through click the order button make sure it works make sure it goes to a sales page etc and then go from there but set that up find a good product to promote and then promote it in the third email and in the third email go you know make it a long email um, go into detail about what it is it's a good idea to actually purchase the product and review it and make sure you know it's good just to see if the sales process works for one thing and then to actually know what you're promoting um, is obviously definitely a good thing so uh, give a give a good not necessarily a review you I mean you want to focus on the sale not necessarily on a big full-length review you want to focus on the sale. tell them why they need this product um, so that you're just pitching a product in the third email and then you just want to follow that same cycle as many times as you can as many times as you want um, I typically will start off with just promoting two products I'll go uh, six email series so two pure content emails one promo two pure content emails one promo and then after a few months you'll see whether that's converting or not after you start driving more and more traffic you'll see okay is this generating sales or not if it is then I'll extend it even longer and I'll just keep on going and keep on going uh, you know the more money it's making the longer I'll go with the email series uh, if it's not doing so well then I might just leave that and move on to another one but this is a very profitable system it works very well you get the opt-in you, you're building your list uh, the more traffic you can drive to that site the bigger your list is going to get the more sales you're going to make the more clicks on your AdSense ads you're going to make or your you know the more affiliate sales directly on the website you're going to make so it's two different monetization models you have your ads on the actual website and then you have the autoresponder series uh, through the emails and you can also build a community if this really starts to do well and you have this list and it's growing and growing and growing and you're making sales uh, then it might not be a bad idea to create a Facebook group and just kind of expand it out into a full-blown authority website and it's a great way to do that so I hope that helps it's a very profitable method many people use it uh, have been for years and years I've done it and it's very profitable so hope that helps